<laughs> what are you doing? Is that your clapper? It doesn't make... Hi, I'm Steph. <laughs> I'm Kim. <laughs> and today on Taste the World, we have... Some Aussie baked goods, some Australian baked goods. Thank you to our friend Catherine, who uh, I guess ordered this for us yeah. from... Um, it's called Tucker Box, T-O. That's the, that's the Instagram handle, it looks like. She doesn't have a shop from what I see. It looks like she like bakes for some local shops, but if you DM her on her Instagram, it looks like you can order some stuff, which is very cool. But we'll tell you what they are as we eat them. Um, it looks like it's four things, four things that we're trying. It's gonna be a fast video today. Well, Usually we do snacks. Today, these are sort of snacks, but they're more like pastries and cakes and sweets, yeah. so. Usually ours are snacks are more like candies kind of that we have. I mean, we've already had Tim Tams and they're so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of other Aussie snacks that we've never had though, so we can we can check it out eventually. But thanks, anyways, Catherine. Yes, thanks Kath. You know candies and chocolates and that kind of stuff. Feel free to send some. We're perfectly cool with that. Okay, we'll have to check so out eventually, yeah. We're gonna try it with savory first. Um, yes, let's do savory first. The famous Australian meat pie. However, this is made with Beyond Meat plant-based meat products because this person doesn't eat meat. So I'm yes. gonna do sucker for it, chunky fish. But I'm sure well, it's well, delightful. Yeah. Australia, smell. <laughs> Ding. So Australians eat it with ketchup. I'm gonna try it without first and then try it. It smells, it smells like a hamburger. A little bit, yeah. Why are you giving me such tiny pieces? I haven't had lunch, so. Well, we can eat more after it. I'm just giving us a piece so people can see. So as you can see, it's the Beyond Meat. There's onions and tomato. Let's try this. It smells good. Eat that part, it has piece tree. I'm having issues, excuse me. Okay. Ding. It's not warm enough. It's good though. It straight up tastes like a hamburger. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like a hamburger in a pie. Mm. It's good though. Mm. Stuff is hungry. This is very tasty. I like this. Mm. This is how you know Steph is satisfied when all she does is make primal grunting up. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna try it with ketchup this time. The sweetness? I wanna try it with hot sauce. Ooh, go get hot sauce. Yeah. You're doing ketchup. I'll do hot sauce. Oh, we're sorry if hot sauce is not an Australian thing, but this one just hot sauce for everything. So I settled on getting chocolate habanero because that's like almost like a mole, like a spicy mole, which is a Mexican. Song. Anyways, it should be good, I imagine. So I feel confident that this hot sauce is going to be delicious with it. My confidence is accurate. I'm going to try it with the ketchup first and then I want to try some hot sauce. Hot sauce and ketchup, how about that? Oh heck out with the hot sauce, man. I'm on to something here. Here. Ketchup, good too. Mmm. How spicy? It's not that bad. Whoa! Oh, but that hot sauce is bomb, right? Mmm. Yeah. Feel free to drizzle some over my ketchup also. You want to try some of ketchup? No, I'm not a big fan of ketchup. Don't tell the Australians that. I'm just not. Mustard is a better condiment. I said it. Mustard is better. We should order some more of these. these Taco really box. Good. good job. Yeah, this this pie is this pie is actually you know what? I don't even need to eat a meat pie. This this soy meat pie is great. Yeah, it's good. Oh my god. I mean, I would need to meet one otherwise, but this is really good. Wow. I definitely would like to buy more of these and freeze them so we can have them when we want for lunch. 
Mm. I'm so happy. I'd like to know what soy product you use in this because actual Beyond Meat. Actual Beyond Meat? Yeah. I'll sell it on right. How do you get rid of that aftertaste? Is it because it's been cooked through and like I think it's the tomato. Tomato <gasps> really helps cut that. Oh my gosh. That's true because when we made spaghetti bolognese. Like I really like I don't mind Beyond Meat. It's just there will there's always that little aftertaste. But this one is very it's different. I love it. The tomato. Good good shout. I think it's the meat tomato because I think the acid in it helps cut it. <laughs> no more. Uh, I want you to pick first and then we'll try whichever one you want. Right. So the cookie mm -hmm. is called Anzac. Yeah. Anzac. I think A N Z A C. Biscuit, because um, they call cookies biscuits. Oh, it's a rubbery one, a yeah. chewy one. It looks like it. It's got, it's got oats, and it looks like it has coconut in it. I'm not a fan of coconut flakes. Typically, I don't like the texture in my mouth, but I'll still eat it. I like yeah. coconut in general. Probably. And you like fresh coconut? It's really just the kind that's not fresh that you can't deal with, right? It's flaky. But you like flakes of fresh too. It's, it's anyway. It's just when it's been processed, so it Why usually... Why did you give me such a big piece? I don't know. Mm, good. So what's in it? Again? I can see oats. It's good. The coconut flakes in this isn't too textured, so I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Slightly bitter. Is it because of the oats? Oats. I feel like it's a healthy cookie. I don't think it's healthy. To me, it tastes exceptionally sweet. So I think there's a decent amount of sugar in this. Mmm. Right. Meat pie. Beyond meat pie, right. No, oh, nine. That was delicious. Nine and a half. It was delicious. Out of ten, by the way. Not yeah. 20. Oh, 100. Ten. Yeah. No, the meat pie was <clears throat> fantastic. It was, it was one of good. the best. We'll definitely order more of them. Thanks. One of the best Australian meat pies I've had here. Mm-hmm. Next, this one, rate this. As a cookie? I'm gonna rate it not as a cookie, but as a, a, a dessert. So it might change based upon how the other ones taste. But first of all, for me, it's sweet, but not terribly sweet. So I'd say it's probably like an eight. On a scale of sweets, I would say that to me is like a six. It's the coconut, yeah? It's the slight bitterness for me. No. Oh. Let's do the extremely sweet one. This one is, um, I believe it was called a caramel slice. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be super sweet. I know, that's why I said when you thought it was. I won like. <clears throat> we're gonna do a little bit. One one hundredth of that. It looks like it's got like a crunchy cookie on the bottom. I'm gonna cut this in one tenth of this. And then the center is some kind of like. I don't know, and there's chocolate like a ganache on the top. It does look like it's caramel fudge. I don't, not fudge. Mm. <gasps> it is sweet. Oh, the sweetness hits you at the end. Is there coconut in there? Mm -hmm. There's coconut flakes in there. In the biscuit. I think it's coconut flakes in the biscuit. I think it's an eight. It's very good. I like it. I would not eat it <laughs> because I don't like sweets. This is way, this like, if, if people who like sweets think this is sweet kim, to me, yeah. this is like 100% more. The kind of sweets I like are more citrus sweets. Mm. Like fruit tarts and lemon things, like chocolate and caramel stuff. I like it, but ooh, it's it's a lot for me. Yeah. This one's called a uh, lamington. Lamingtons are almost very. Ooh, why does it? It's superly, like superly, superly popular and traditional to Australia, right? Lamingtons. I believe so. That was exceptionally oh, sweet. Oh, it's a oh. cake. Okay, this one might be. We might like this one more. It almost looks. Oops. It almost looks like a pound cake on on the, on the inside. It's very flaky though. I have no idea what this is. I've never had it before. Are you all flaky? Haha. Uh -huh. Ready? Yeah. 
I promise I won't judge because of the coconut. Coconut. I'll judge the flavor. It's actually not very sweet. Mm. It's great. The outside of it is like almost like fudge. The chocolate. What you call me? They didn't. The outside is like fudge. I'm trying to eat pieces of it so I can discern the different flavors. The inside is. It doesn't have a lot of flavor actually. The cake part. Mm -hmm. It's very I like light. It. I don't know whether Leamingtons are meant to be very dry. <clears throat> I sort of like, I think I would like it if it wasn't this dry. I'm trying very hard not to say the M word, so I would prefer it less dry. The cake actually feels that way though. I find it, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the coconut. It might be the coconut and it might be just the texture because the chocolate has that like grainy texture on the outside too. Okay, wait. This one is more like a, a six. Yeah, like a six for me. I would say it's a seven for me just because it's not as sweet. And yeah. um, I like cakes more than like fudge or caramel or very Caramel slice is more like a pie thing. thing. Yeah. So yeah. This reminds me kind of of like Nanamo bars that we have here in Canada. You're not the first person that say Nanamo to me. Nanamo. Is from that Starbucks how? or Tim Hortons? The Nanamo bar. Well, it's from the Nanamo region in, v in BC. Oh. But yeah, most places, bake shops and stuff sell them here because they're very popular. But that's what it, actually, that's what that reminds me of. Of the three, for my personal preference, the one that I would probably eat again is the cookie. Same. Yeah, then Zach one. <clears throat> Mostly because even though it's quite sweet, it's um the, the oat and stuff, that complexity, I think, helps balance it more. It, where it's sweet but that's not the only flavor you have correct the other ones to me it seems like it leads with sweetness of the four i would eat the meat pie all day long well yeah well i mean honestly me too <laughs> yeah they're good i like them it was very sweet yeah my assumption is that these are very common australian desserts um or snacks or treats are. yeah i've heard of the reference too before i'm just not familiar with them obviously to know the history but uh, that was my assumption because I've seen them referenced before. So um, they're quite tasty, very sweet. I was surprised at how sweet they are. Um, but I mean, ter technically when something's called a caramel slice, I expected it to be, I mean, caramel with sugar. So I knew that was going to be sweet. But yeah, I what like, about you? I like Tim Tams. Yeah. And you said you're the same, like the, the cookie is the one that you would probably eat again out of the three. If I had to eat the sweets, yes. But generally, I don't choose to buy sweets or desserts. No. But the meat pie. That meat pie is delicious. The meat pie. Meat pie we will order again. The meat pie. <laughs> the savory. I will yeah. dream about you day and night. Mm. Awake and unawake. Conscious and subconscious and unconscious. Should we enter the meat pie oh, with sure. like little hearts coming down for you? Because I mean, that's like your... You know I can't smile without you. Okay, you're talking too low and that's not going to pick up. I can't smile without you. I can't live. No, I can't live. I'm fighting it hard. She's talking about the meat pie. She's not talking about me. <laughs> Big thanks to well, our friend Kath for ordering and sending this to us. And Tucker Box Tucker Toronto. Box. So Instagram Tucker Box Tio. We'll put the boop, boop, here. Thank we you will... so much for making these. They're really good. Very sweet. Very delicious. Great flavor. What we, were you gonna say? We will also put the Instagram in our comments. Description. You can never get it right. It's always the same word. Description. I will put it in the description. Description. So check her out. It was it was really good, and um, you'll probably be receiving an order from us for some more meat pies. Uh, make sure to comment below and tell us what your favorite Aussie more. These are more savory things. So what's your favorite Aussie meat pie or Aussie dessert? Do we describe them correctly? <laughs> if you know the history of them, let us know. If you have any kinds of foods or snacks that you'd like us to try, mm. please let us know in the comments what they are, what region they are, country, culture, etc. Tell us where to get it or send it to us. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, it was great. Yes. Mm. In the meantime, be intentional for food. I still don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.
tell me what to do.